Hello, this is the first video of several videos that will be used to create the check valve system on the water blaster for the STEM Solutions first project. In this video, I will walk you through the process of building um, parts of this check valve, and the part that we're going to be working on this time is going to be just this piece right here. This is a uh, three quarter inch piece of di three quarter inch inside diameter piece of PVC piping. This is a 37.72 millimeter section of it in length. And what we're going to do right now is build that inside piece. That's what we're building right here. And that's the inside that's holding this socket and this socket together. So that piece of PVC pipe is inserted in between. So let's take a look at our piece that we're going to recreate using Inventor. Let's take a look at the sketch first. So I'm going to right click on the sketch, hit edit sketch. So these are my dimensions for the circles. I'm going to hit finish sketch and now I'm going to look at the extrusion and check out the extrusion that's 37.72. So those are my key measurements that I need to create this piece. So to get started I'm going to go to the file menu and I'm going to go to new and I'm going to select a standard millimeter IPT. Now remember that it doesn't really matter if you start off in inches, that's okay. You can always switch the units later from inches to millimeters. So hit create. And we're going to start off with our millimeters drawing. Start the 2D sketch. Click on the start 2D sketch option at the top where it says 3D model. Now I see the grid space that is going to be set up on all of these different planes. Uh, this is the origin, which is right here the, where X, Y, and Z intersect. Uh, through these planes. And I'm going to click on the XZ plane. Click on the circle tool that popped up on my sketch panel right here. And I'm going to start on the origin. This first circle is going to be 20.5. And I simply just type 20.5 on my keyboard and hit enter. And the dimension is constrained and we see a circle that is 20.5 millimeters in diameter. The next circle that I'm going to create starts from that center point of the previous circle that was created. And I'm going to make this one 26. Okay, 26 millimeters. Like I said to you before, the, um, and I hit finish sketch, like I said to you before, the units can be changed at any time. And in this case, um, if I wanted to look at what the units would actually be in inches, I could go to tools go to document settings and go to units and change from millimeter to inches if I was to do that hit apply Let's see what we get okay so a little off compared to what we uh, the measurements are standard at set at 0.75 so it's actually a little bit bigger than 0.75 for the inside dimension um, inside diameter and that's ultimately because we used a caliper to get the exact dimension um, and you obviously have to take into account tolerances which are set on any type of manufactured product, in this case the PVC piping. So we have some room for error essentially, um, where sometimes the parts are not exactly the same size as what they are quoted at being. So I'm going to leave it at the millimeters for now, just for our purposes, hit apply. As you see they change back to millimeters. Now I'm going to go to the 3D model menu at the top of the screen, hit extrude, select the surface that we would like to extrude that's the cylinder and it's going to go in the direction up or down depending on what arrows you decide to select on the extruding options the distance that we would like to extrude is going to be set at 37.2 millimeters once you're satisfied with the distance hit OK use the wheel to mouse zoom out there is the first piece so we can go ahead and save this now so I'm going to go save as and I'm going to make sure that I save it into the folder that I need it in. So I'm going to just save, create a new folder on my desktop. And this one's going to be Water Blaster CV for check valve. And this is going to be the inside PVC piece. Okay. And uh, actually, CV. So Water Blaster CV, check valve and then name the part the inside three quarter three quarter inch so I could write that point seven five inch 
PVC piece. And that is it. That's saved. And that's all you have to do for the first piece. In the next video clip, I'll show you the next component, which is going to be this socket. Okay, the socket and threaded part. So it connects to the PVC pipe we just created. And then also this part connects onto any other fittings that are set up on your water blaster. So that's the end of this video.